Singapore could build a 30-hectare renewable energy farm in the waters around Raffles Lighthouse. Authorities are looking into the feasibility of harnessing energy from the sun as well as tides on a large scale. Now, experts say this would be the first such facility in Singapore to combine the two and it could be used for charging electric harbour craft. Geraldine Yap with more. Pulau Satumu is home to Raffles Lighthouse, an important marker for vessels along the Singapore Strait. The Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore has earmarked 30 hectares around the island. It is looking into installing solar panels above the surface of the sea and tidal turbines underwater. Combined, an expert says this could generate more than enough electricity to power the equivalent of a thousand four-room HDB flats for a year. According to tender documents, MPA is looking for concepts that support the charging of electric harbour craft as well as energy storage. From 2030, new harbour craft in Singapore have to be fully electric or use other greener fuels to decarbonise the maritime industry. Presently, there are charging points being planned in the mainland, uh, Singapore. Now, such uh, uh, charging points, when it is brought to the islands, etc., it will give a lot of flexibility to the electric charging boat and more better option, adoption by the uh, value chain of this uh, maritime industry would be happening. And this will also be a very good model to the rest of the Southeast Asian uh, countries and uh, where Singapore can be the R&D hub. The feasibility study includes an environmental impact assessment as well as development of measures to mitigate any potential impact. Experts tell me one such impact could be noise from the underwater turbines. This could affect animals such as dolphins and turtles which have been spotted in the waters around the island. The area is also known for its pristine coral reefs. With higher boat traffic, we disrupt uh, the water flow around the area uh, or even uh, the structures that we install will change the hydrodynamics because this has implication on the coral larvae that arrives at Revels Lighthouse. Solar panels, um, especially uh, when it comes to uh, on-surface deployment, uh, it can also reduce the amount of light uh, that it allows. Uh, and given that we are already very light limited underwater, it poses um, some amount of stress on corals uh, because they are light dependent. The feasibility study is expected to begin next quarter.